Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Hi, Hi Jenny. It's your first stream, how do you feel? Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is a deciding game uh, between Powder and Zalai. Okay. Uh, so I think the winner of this game will go on to round of eight, if, yes. I'm, if I'm right. And uh, let's exciting. see what the games are. There was pretty exciting games today, actually. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of drama. Like full against that is, o is awesome, so hopefully it's going to be as good here. Yeah. Uh, I casted Zalai earlier when he won against Alesh with a Patron Warrior. But they're oh allowed God. to submit new decks in this series, so... Uh, so now the game started already, actually. How and uh, I have to study... Uh, uh, what? I can't see Porter's card. Add powder. Yeah, but I can't. How do I do that? Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, he is in friend list, but there's nothing behind his name, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. So, <laughs> wow. so we can see that I, uh, that I is Paladin and uh, and Pardo is Druid, and we don't know what are the other classes. Yeah, I can only see that I is card for now. What is gonna come in point of view? So he plays a secret paladin, obviously, as you guys can see, a uh, secret keeper, and he has a pretty uh, strong starting hand Hopefully with a secret uh, keeper and two secrets, which is really oh annoying. Uh, he's probably going to play the two secrets now, ah. I would guess. He might play the mini bot, actually, but I think the two secrets is better. It's too tempting. It's close, actually. It's a close spot between the mini bot and the two secrets. I think yeah, two secrets. As soon as he attacks, it'll pop the noble and avenge at the same time. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, if he, if the other guy played the uh, if powder, he doesn't have point out point out Donasus, It's pretty obvious that you want to play number sack and avenge, just so you can trade with the secret keeper. Uh, now it's a close spot, like some of the situation. I'm not 100 percent sure which one is the best move, but uh, I, I think, think the I two think secrets is probably better. Two, two yeah. secrets is probably better. It's too, it's too good. It's just impossible for him to to deal with a free four at this stage of the game. Like the best thing he could do is probably innovate keeper. Uh, yeah, innovate keeper and silence, and it's still not that powerful. I mean, it's all right. Oh, I now guess. I can add. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I can do it. All right. Spectate. Huh? Click on it. Yeah, clicking on it. <laughs> what? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Huh? Technical difficulties. Sorry, guys. Uh, so he's innovating the shade. Interesting. How, oh do I we, how do I rejoin the game? I stop spectating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, what? just um, leave. Yes. Leave? Uh huh. Alright, never mind. Sorry, guys. Spectate. But now we're gonna see. That's so sick, actually. <laughs> now we're gonna see a Potter's card in Zalai first. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. Well, now we can see. Okay, that now we can see, but it's ready. Oh, okay, no, no, we're no, it's, it's fine. You can see. Oh, okay. The top. No, but, but it's, it's not really fine because yeah. there's. There. How are you? Okay. Gonna oh, I never mind. So. Uh, now we can see all the cards at least. Oh, and, that's uh, really good. That's so good. We have Pardo on the bottom and Zale on top, and Zale has like the most perfect swipe here. Oh no, but he can't swipe. Yeah, he can. And he knows that. No, it's turn. Oh, he can't swipe because he has no mana. Three. Never mind. Smart. <laughs> <Can you> count. <laughs> uh, still has a perfect swipe this turn, but now it's not going to be as perfect because he's going to play the Shredder. I would guess ninety percent sure Shredder. Shredder is good. Mini what is the. Uh, yeah, uh, mini bot and uh, redemption is actually not that bad either, because then he gets the uh, um, he gets the keeper out of range, swipe range. But I think Shredder is just stronger. No, 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 Shredder is so much better. Shredder is stronger for sure. Right. It's actually not Asmoda, it's powder, right? It's powder. No. Yeah, on the on the on the layout it says Asmoda, but it's powder against Zalai, right? <laughs> no problem. No problem. So that's why <laughs> we know we know who it is. So he plays a shredder as expected, and uh awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Powder, and you yeah, see the deck. So can Zalai. you can you show the decks that have been banned? Also, that would be awesome. <laughs> 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 so we know there. So there are lineups as you guys can see on the screen now. Zalai as a oh paladin. Man, this and is uh, yeah, I I think. I think it's actually, it's still, it's still upside down, actually. Like, Zalai is not the druid. Zalai is the paladin, right? <laughs> yeah, but I'm going yeah. to gonna, I'm gonna rejoin so I can... Uh, <coughs> so I can... Uh, I'm going to rejoin, so... 
Oh yeah, you can swap Zeros. Sure, you can swap Zeros. That's good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so now he's gonna play the trigger and the mini bot and hope it hits the shade so he can trade it. Oh. And yeah, yeah. nice, uh, nice, nice juggle, boy. And redemption is pretty strong here because, like, it's obviously like forcing one of those minions to be redeem to be revived. Uh, if it's a mini bot or it's a shredder, it's pretty insane. And if it's a trigger, it's still pretty good. Because it's usually hard to kill to to kill the free two and a free one. Like now, Zale is just such a strong board. Uh, it's gonna be really hard for Parda to deal with it. He's down to nine life, especially. It's just like doesn't seem like yeah. I mean, else for him. turn one secret keeper, and he wasn't able to clear, and then turn you know turn two two secrets. Yeah, like when too much. Problem man. with secret Paladin, they have very very strong starts, and like Paladin has a super strong curve, and it's just hard to to deal with it and. That's why uh, most of these matches. Uh, yeah, it seems like uh, Zalai's Paradin is actually like a little bit of a more aggressive version of the. And he gets pretty lucky with the juggle too, so he <laughs> maximizes the damage. And now he's gonna put like 5 to the face, he's gonna no play way. completely spirit. You just no know. Uh, so this game is pretty much over now. GG. There's just no way. Because there's just no way. Well. Even if he BJ swipes, yeah, then you, can't you can't get rid of the 2 <laughs> 2 uh, with that move. And then. Well, yeah, the Shredder is gonna revive actually. Yeah, nope. If he does that, the Shredder is reviving, so like there is no way he can clear. It's just game over. So let's Aww, go on to bad. the. Yeah, it's over. Too There's bad. no way. Even if he clears, yeah. like he's gonna swipe and then. Swipe himself. Actually, when the Shredder dies, he's gonna pop another. F oh, it doesn't. Sometimes he does pop another knife, but I mean it's over anyway. So. Uh, Zara he takes down. Yeah, the Secret Party is really strong. He has a really strong curve. And, uh, I mean, Druid has some outs against Secret Party, but it's still a matchup that favors Druid quite a lot, I think. You think so? Yeah. What I do think you think, Jenny? Favors, huh? You play a lot of Secret Party, don't you? <laughs> Can you play I all the OP deck? <laughs> I, I know. Base Hunter and Secret Party. I mean, I just want to get Legend, right? <laughs> so. I don't care. I really don't. Next game is going to be uh, Zalai's same Secret Party, and uh, Parler shoots the uh, Secret Party. So Paladin as well. It might not be a secret one actually. We don't know because they have like a. Uh, is this mid range? Yeah, yeah. yeah we don't know actually. I think so. It might be mid range, yeah, but yeah, it might sure. also be secret. Sludge. Like the deck show gave me, he has a sludge pressure and a blessing of kings and secrets, but they're a bit less and secrets. Sludge? So the, the deck, yeah, the deck I was playing has sludge pressure too. Really? It's actually well pretty it's good. Well, it's just kind of hybrid, right? Between mid range and. Uh, uh, the one that you were like a, it's like a mid range secret. Let's but see. Let's see how many. Such pressure is usually a pretty strong five drop as well, and uh, it benefits from a lot of like redemption and stuff too. So it's pretty sick to get a Belcher redempted. But it's just a strong five uh, five drop to play to contest the board before the mysterious challenger comes out. Do you think he's gonna forget to confirm? Like so now I think I'm watching Potter. So I think he's probably, he's probably gonna just keep the juggle, I would guess. You think owl is worth keeping? Oh, he keeps the owl. Yeah, because wow. you don't know how many he's running. Usually they run like one owl. Yeah, and it's worth, it's it's worth, so worth it. it. Yes and no. It depends on the spots, I guess. No, I mean, like sometimes, like owl. if it's sometimes if it's like a a mini bot or a shredder that get the avenge, and obviously it's worth it. But sometimes it's also not that use. Right. Now it's actually pretty good to play the R because you expect it to. I mean, they see his hand, he has mm -hmm. Muster, but Muster is pretty common free drop. Yeah, something would, that he would keep he as would well. Probably so. Think. Oh no. Yeah, you have Jowl. Is he gonna juggle? Oh. Juggle, it. juggle might be pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> obviously, he doesn't have to know he has Muster. But now it's like super likely that you can just deal with a juggle instantly with muster. Just the perfect oh combo, like turn two juggle into turn three muster. It's just like already uh, GG. That's tough spot. I mean, he could have consecration. There are obviously counters. I don't know if he plays any consecration. If he does have consecration, it's a good uh, spot. Now it's one consecration. He might just coin the two silver and get rid of the juggle. <gasps> no, but oh, he coins the shredder yeah. actually. Yeah, because yeah. he knows that it's. Uh, most likely noble sack. That was, that was actually the better play. It's a pretty sick spot for 
he's like really behind on board. He, he needs to get like consecration is probably the best bet. Yeah. Wait, which which decks are currently banned? Uh, I don't know which ones are banned, but it doesn't you know show. You know that powder lost with the. Uh... Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. So Potter bends a hunter, which is interesting because. Base hunter? No, I'm right, yeah. probably. They mostly play mid range hunter here, I think. I don't know. It seems like Paladin and Druid does not that bad against hunter. And depends which Druid is, uh, which Warlock it is. Warlock is probably not that good against hunter, but Paladin and Druid are usually okay. Yeah, it's already like. Oh man, GG. So Zale is just has too strong of a presence, like on the board here, and it's just like. I mean, the problem yeah. is like even if he plays the Owl turn two, then he gets cleared by the weapon of the uh, Master for Battle, so it's really hard. So it's two zero, yeah, it's quick two zero for Zale, who's uh, pretty much crushing here. Uh, So that's uh, and now it's gonna be up to uh, part of last deck, which is uh, what's his deck? Will be three zero. It's gonna be warlock. So let's see, let's oh see yeah. if it's a handlock or a zulock. It looks like a handlock. Seeing the ancient watcher. So actually, handlock. Uh, oh somebody I mean? said handlock is the best counter to secret paladin, to paladin in general. So. so if they Do don't play agree? equality and they usually don't play, it's pretty good. Like if you get two taunty giants, it's still really tough for paladins to to get around it, right? It's tough to get around the huge towns, and you don't have to trigger a lot of secrets early. Like the handlocks, they can temper, they can just like wait for the good spot to actually pop out the secrets, especially if they have towns. And if they have like Shadow Flame or uh, Hellfire, it can be a pretty sick uh, boss wipe as well. So, so let's see. Would you keep a giant here? Giant dark bomb. Mm, dark I would probably bomb? keep the giant against right. the aggressive decks, yeah. It's pretty, it could be aggro. I would probably keep the giant and the hill and the dark bomb only. Maybe not even the dark bomb. I guess dark bomb is okay. Dark bomb, yeah, for juggler. Fine. Yeah, dark bomb is not that great though, because like if they have mini boat, you can't really dark bomb them and then like. No, but they always run. Even even secret keeper is a good target. Do it. Yeah. Wakeful won. Did he? Good job, Wakeful. <laughs> <laughs> he did rage quit. Yeah. <laughs> he rage quit pretty early on. But the other guy was didn't. BM, so he just have to get wrecked. Good Aww. job, Wakeful. No, he wasn't BMing. He Apparently was. he just he just laughed. Yeah, that's BM. <laughs> so Anyway, let's see this game now. Uh, Rag Ragnaros, yeah. Ragnaros oh. is making a return actually. Because actually That's apparently there's so many freeze mage going around and Rag is a perfect counter to freeze mage because right. he can shoot even if it's frozen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and now we have Avenge Noble Sack, which mm -hmm. is a pretty strong uh, combo of secrets. So now if he's going to oh be like... Man. Yeah. Avenge? Wait, I mean, I gonna I avenge, yeah. yeah, he's going to yeah, avenge the other right. guy who's okay. going to become a 4-3. You so have to get rid of Secret Keeper from the beginning. Yeah, I guess. It's just so annoying, those Secret Keepers. If she had BGA, she could have done, could have waited and then kill the guy and then they don't, BGA. There's no BGA in yeah, handlock. Yeah, of course there's BGA in handlock. Of course there is. Is there isn't? Shadow Flame is a very strong, uh, uh, very strong card in the matchup and the Drake uh, is as well a strong card because a lot of the Paladins, they don't run the uh, Owl, actually. Or only one, so they can't really silence it. And he has nine life, so it's pretty hard to to deal with it. To just ignore and go face. Well, <laughs> if he ignores and go face now, he's gonna play two giants and turn them. Uh, yeah, two giants and turn them, and then it's just like gonna be impossible for for her to. I mean, obviously now he has or a perfect hand, but even if he has one giant and he turns it with a drake, it's really hard to uh, to deal with as a as a paladin. So he doesn't really want to well, ignore and go face. That's why it's kind of a, a tough Yeah, because. Part. 
I don't know. I think he would expect at least a shadow or a hellfire at this point, so he's gonna lose him anyway. And there is there is noble sack up. I don't know. It's just next turn he has mysterious challenger. Yeah, mysterious challenger also against handlock is not as uh, I mean it's still really strong. It's just not as efficient. Oh, the egg is actually pretty sick. Uh, pretty sick drop. Probably the best ever because now mm -hmm. it yeah. kind of protects him from the it protects him from the board board player. Mm. So I mean, yes, you know, it's a sick, it's a double sack, right? He's hoping it's not. I mean, you kind of want to pop the egg here, probably Shadow Flame, but you might, might just want to save the Shadow Flame for a Molten to, to like actually clear a bigger threat, like the Mysterious Challenger or something. Because if he loses more life, he's going to be able to play the, uh, the Molten for free, and he could, like, next turn, he could possibly, he's like, thinking, he's uh, thinking flame. double Molten. And if he has a Mysterious Challenger, he could Shadow Flame one Molten and turn the other one. He could play all of that next turn if it's a... Uh, I think I will he play the Mountain shadow. Giant here. Because it's so unlikely mountain? that you get... Oh, hey. oh, I mean, you can play the Mountain anyways. Like, what? Yeah. I wouldn't Shadow Flame here, though. I would wait for... I mean, it's obviously easy to see when you... No, because... See the other guy can. But it's not that efficient Shadow Flame, because you still have the 4-4 on board. And Better uh, than I. All huh? those on board. Plus... Well, I would, like, I would have played the Mountain Plus Giant, mysterious. I think. No, but at six, turn 6. You expect a mysterious challenger. Yeah, exactly. So you want to set a shadow flame for the mysterious challenger because you can play your mountain for free. Who am I? And now you can't. But you can clone them both, so it's still okay. But it might have a repentance. No. No, no, no. You can actually play the or mountain giant uh, and both mountain and taunt, which is pretty sick. Oh no, you can actually play three giants on this turn. Three giants and turn two of them, and it's gonna make it super hard for Zale to push the last of the damage. You know what? He doesn't think he has repentance because he already he actually has another noble sack on board, which is why it didn't trigger. He does have repentance, but he misplayed. I think he should have played the mountain giant first. Now he can only play two because oh. if you don't play the mountain giant first, now the mountain giant is costing six, so it's a bit. Weird. I don't know why he doesn't play the mountain giant here. He's he not gonna have a better spot to. I think that's why he's doing when he's sticking his head. He's like, ah, oh, see this misplay. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously like we all make misplays, right? It's pretty easy to see when you see all the cards and like, uh, it's pretty to see the better play. And for yeah. sure, you have to play the, mo the mountain giant here and taunt. It's better to have two eight eight taunt and like one eight one on the side than what the hell? Let's check. Uh, That's kinda. not optimal. That's a little odd. I mean, it's still a really strong board, and it's still going to be really hard for his opponent to clear. Ooh, now he can also be here to 7-7 seven, seven if he doesn't... Uh, yeah, but now he yeah, has no more secrets, back. right? He has like... He doesn't have any secrets, so it's going to be like very little value from the challenger. Uh, he might as well play the... The Blessing of Kings, maybe. It's just awkward, man. It's pretty awkward, actually. There's just no good play here uh, for Zale stuff. Well Even though uh, Pablo well kind of misplayed and didn't have the strongest board he could have in that spot, it's still uh, really hard for for Zale here because he could play the Blessing of Kings and trade one giant with a 5-5. Five five. Uh, could play If he played it on 7-7, seven seven, I guess it becomes a 11. He can trade one giant and trade the 2-3 with the other 5-5. Five five and then there's a 9-2 on board. Um, which is probably better if it was a consecration next time. I think time. he was just to another challenger. Or, oh. I think he's going to do that. Problem is right. there's a big game hunter that's going to kill that guy next turn. But even if there was no big game hunter, he knows he's going to die to the 2 free, right? So, yeah. Barda could have one other giant on board, which would have been the sickest. Oh. That's good. That's not that good, actually. You don't really want to play that, because then it's just going to be like killing your own giant. 
the hellfire. You don't want to have fire. No, you you attack and have fire. What? What am I talking about, Danny? You don't want to have fire. You really want to keep your town here. Well, that's not good for him because now he only has one BGH target. I think he actually wants to be chased the 8-5 and trade the 2-3 into the 11-2, maybe? The stuff. If you play the giant, the other giant, then it would have been so much easier, right? You would have much stronger board. Mm. The volume is really low, is it? Is it? Uh, you should put your mic closer to your mouth, too. Is it better now, guys? Sorry. <laughs> That's what they say on the chat. Oh. We're reading you guys. Because I'm a quiet guy. That's why. I'm a quiet and peaceful guy. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was gonna let like, go of it anyway. It's I pretty guess, so. tough now, actually. He does have a heal bot, but he's not gonna be able to play everything next turn. Like, Tyrion is gonna be a big threat that he can't really do anything against at the time. And he has to, otherwise he dies, right? So I think the only way thing can do... Oh, that's yeah. a top deck. Okay, so what? He's gonna science yeah. it. And he'll yeah, board. that's pretty good. What? Okay. He lives for another day. That's pretty good, but... Pretty good, but the Cook Hammer is gonna be sick value here, though. He's gonna give Tyrion another Divine Shield and taunt. <laughs> and make it really, really hard target to remove. Um, probably Coghammer, Mini Boat, and Hero Power is play here. Or maybe Coghammer, just Coghammer, uh, yeah, Mysterious Challenger. Challenger. I guess it's, like, it's good. It's another but body on board. Yeah, Coghammer, Mysterious Challenger is the best, I think. I think he still has a couple of secrets left. Like maybe two or three. Mm, I don't know if he has any secrets left, actually. Probably not. Let's see. Mike, too close, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, never happy, so sick. <laughs> never happy. Never happy, never lucky. How much? Uh, how this many is a close game, actually. How uh, many secrets do you think he has left? Uh, Campbell. We didn't play the competitive spirit, right? I mean, like we don't, we never know exactly how many he plays in his deck. I would think he has like. Let's see how good left. your memory is. He played two number sack and one avenge, so he probably has one avenge, one competitive spirit left. Let's see, two, I would guess. How many? Zero. Never mind. Zero. <laughs> that was not far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <like laughs> Three or two. Uh, what happened to the? Oh, he didn't play the Koghammer. That's so sick. Actually, I would have played the Koghammer. Yeah, he should have. Why not? I feel the like Koghammer is just so it's much more value than a mini bot. Uh huh. I mean, he knows that he can't be killed like right now. What? But still. Oh. What do you mean? The Koghammer was definitely better than a mini bot here. So now the problem is Powder use all his town because like he kind of misplayed on the last turn and he played both Argus and Sun Fury. If he right, played the three right. giants and Sun Fury, he would have an Argus here, and he could like Argus the Watcher and have been really powerful. And now he has to gamble and hope Ragnaros uh, gets lucky one time in his life. Otherwise, GG. Uh, well, so he has 66 percent to not die his turn, geez. but he dies his turn anyways. Never fucking lucky. <laughs> Never so lucky. sick. Never lucky. Holy shit. <laughs> so sick. GG. GG. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> But to be honest, even if Rag killed one guy, he was still in a pretty bad spot. Because yeah, he would probably die the next turn from the yeah. hammer anyways. But there he goes. He's like well. free zero already? Yeah. Free zero for Zare, another swipe. Congrats. Uh Zare will advance to round of eight. Congrats. Every time I cast Zare, he wins free game with the same deck, so sick. <laughs> last time I cast him, he lost the first That's game unfair. and then he free zero with a patron wire. But anyways, uh the well played Zare and uh see you guys soon.